Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBeeDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I'd like to show you a fun fold that I believe is called a shadow box card because there's a box that has like a shadow box effect created with your scoring and your folding of this card. I was inspired to make this card when my friend Janet Munden sent me a really cute card using the Lily, Lily pad. Uh, it's line up with the designer Lily Impressions paper and the Lily Pad stamp dies. And I just did a video using this um, last week, so you can take a look back at my YouTube channel and look up the Lily Pad dies. And so I loved that card and was so intrigued by it that I got to work on making one myself. As you can see, I used the stamp set in the new catalog that came out January 3rd by Stampin' Up! the mini catalog and I used a bundle called the Timeless Tropical Bundle. It has these beautiful um, tropical images here and a delicious Haha, <laughs> delicious. I looked at that pineapple. <laughs> These beautiful font in here. I just love that. This uh, Rest and Relax could be a great um, retirement card. And so it comes with the dies that are called the In the Tropics dies. You can see a great pineapple. I'm going to be using that soon, so keep watching. Not in this video, but an upcoming video. And it cuts out the palm trees and some leaves and flowers and a neat aloha that is a cursive script also, so really neat. And in that suite also comes the Coastal Weave 3D embossing folder. And that is gonna be really pretty. It, it's different than the Basket Weave one that we have in the catalog, in the annual catalog. It has that more of a tropical, um, feel like you know the mats and and rugs that are on the floor in tropical places so we've got this um coastal weave on here so it's very very simple card to make once you um figure it out just a little bit of scoring and folding so here we're going to start out with an old olive half sheet of cardstock now all the measurements and the description for the uh, products i use will be in the description on the youtube video underneath you'll see links to um, my blog where you can go and see this exact card on my blog and um, additional pictures and any other special things um, so you can go to cindy lee b designs and see that and I'm gonna be using this uh, old olive half sheet and it's 11 inches by four and a quarter. And then when you put it into your stamp and trimmer, you're gonna score it at a half inch, then you're gonna slide it over to five and a half and then score it at six so that you have a half inch section here. And you'll see that whenever this is folded, when you fold that half inch in and that, it, that creates your box of your card base. So inside, the card base. This is going to be the back of the card base here. So we're just going to get started here. So this is your back of your card base because it opens up kind of like a book. And this is the inside where we're going to put the designer paper. And I chose this gorgeous piece here that has the grapefruit grove in it and some mango and some old olive. And, and actually it looks like it's got like a shaded spruce or a peacock or something in there. But these beautiful prints are in the Tropical Oasis Designer Series paper. Oh, look at the fruit one, that is so pretty. And the flowers and then these cute wood grain, uh, like kind of like, not station wagons, but, but old old time cars. And on the backs of these beautiful prints, you have a smaller print and you've got some palm trees and flamingos and pineapples. So that is a beautiful paper. So I just chose this one and I cut it, since this section here is five inches, I cut this to four and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then I'm just going to pop that right onto the inside of the card. If you heard all that fuss in there, my puppies just came over to visit me and I can't believe they didn't work. But we are not going to let that stop us. So we have got this inside here and the next piece is just the piece that makes the box on the outside. Now this is six inches by four and a quarter and I'm scoring in a half inch on each side. And then that'll be where that box fits into your card. Now, before we do anything with that though, we're going to cut out using our stitched rectangles an opening there. And then once you cut that out, you have your opening that's gonna go on the inside of your card. Now, of course, I didn't wanna waste this piece, so what I did is I took this piece and ran it through my Coastal Weave embossing folder. And then I put it, as you can see, on the front of the card. So there we go. We've got that part done. So we've got the front of the card. We've got the box that's going to go inside, but it's actually right 
here and I put this on the wrong one on my sample one so there we go kids so we're gonna put that right in there so we've got our designer paper and then that's gonna be our box and this piece that fits in here is six inches by four and a quarter and then scored in at a half inch which I think I just told you that but I just still am frazzled by the dog <laughs> dogs running in so there we go we have the card almost finished there. Now we're gonna focus on the front of the card. You can see here, I used a really pretty font here, um, the stamp with the pretty font, May Your Birthday Be Memorable, and I just stamped that and cut it out with my stitched frame, stitch shapes, not there, and then I just popped it onto a layering oval that is scalloped, that is and you can see on the inside, I mimicked that same thing in the rest and relax. So just cut that out with your stitched shapes oval and then find the scallop that fits right around that. So you've got your two sentiments there. Now on the front of the card, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up the, where's the dimensionals? Where did the dimensionals go? Ah, la 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 la. I just do not know where my dimensionals went. Well, we'll just grab a new pack here. It's always funny how things get laid on top of things and under things, but you know, one thing that is always ready to be used is the dimensionals. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this sentiment up in the top part of our basket our coastal weave basket there. It's like the, co the, the the embossing folder is called coastal weave. So we're gonna put that there. Then we know how to do our flowers around here. Now, sometimes I get a little nervous when I am making a card because I'm not sure exactly how to color it or how I wanna accent it. So I did a little technique I've done before. And so to give this, this flower some uh, dimension and some depth to it, what I did is I used my Grapefruit Grove, which is a beautiful picture that you um, color that you can see on the inside of this card. You can see it popping out of there and the reason why I picked the Grapefruit Grove there. And what I did is I just opened up the ink pad and I took my image and inked it up. And then I wanted some variation on it, so I took my real red ink pad and my sponge dauber and got some red on there. And then I just kind of lightly put it around my flower in the middle and then stamp it. Okay, now you can see here, I hope in the video, that you can see some variation of red around here. Now you have to be a little careful here because if you take this dauber and stick it in the middle of your flower just like that, it's going to make your flower look like you stuck a dauber in the middle of the flower. So you just want it to be subtle, so you just kind of dab it around and, and move it a little bit, but don't be too heavy-handed because it'll have that real pretty variation in it. So I did three of these. Here we go. So I did three of them, and you can see that how my red is just has, has some variation of red, but not a big blob in the middle there, because believe me, I did that the first thing and that's why I had that sample to show you. So let me sh shut my ink pads here because that's driving me a little bonkers here. And we're going to put some adhesive on the back of our flowers. And then we're also going to stamp these leaves in old olive and die cut them as well. Now this has a nice variation in the red rubber. It's like the distinctive stamps and it has a nice variation in it. So it doesn't really even look like um, I had to add any extra green into it. Just the variation was really pretty. So I knew I wanted to put, now we're just gonna kind of put that there and hope that everything comes together. So what I did was I covered up this corner down here uh, with the one flower and then I put another flower kind of there and then I did want to pop up with a dimensional here we are I should hang these around my neck and then I'm gonna stick one onto the car onto the actual card base then I'll know that it's 
fitting in there and then I'll just pop that one. I want to make sure that I want to make sure that I'm showing all three of my middles because I'm going to throw a pretty little pearl in the middle of those flowers. So I'm going to get out my pearls and get out my take your pick tool and grab a pearl and I'm gonna put it right in the middle. And if you're gonna be sending a card with embellishments like a pearl or a rhinestone, just put a piece of cardstock, or um, you can cut up some cereal boxes too and put a little thin piece of that chipboard across the top of it and it will protect it. Always put your lid back on so you don't go looking for it. So there we go. We've got our flowers on there, that variation of the color, and now we're going to come back and put the card together. So we know we're going to be putting this here. And I love the fact that you could have put a really pretty sentiment here. But since I put the sentiment in here, I could have left this but I really did like the sentiment down here, up there. So what you're gonna do is put your adhesive. I think what I'll do is just put my adhesive right, and the reason why I'm um, using my snail here, this would be a great place to use a really strong adhesive because um, it'll hold a little better, but snail will probably work fine. And you can see I'm taking the edge here that's folded back and I'm sticking that right a little bit off of that score line so that it'll close. So there is the box that's formed that way. And actually, you know what? I did it that way, but you really should actually put it the other way. You should probably put it this way. You'll have a cleaner, cleaner look to your card. Can you see what I did? I did it the I did it on that way, but it should be fine. So then we're gonna put this other other folded here is going to go on this section here. So let's see. Let's fold that down and let's put, it's a little awkward getting everything here and not getting ink anywhere. So we're going to put our adhesive right along there. And then that is going to go into this half inch section. So what we can do is just Kind of take a look there and do the same thing. And line the score line. I'm hoping you can see this right along that folded line. There you go. And that creates, and then that creates your box. And then you just have, kind of have to play around a little bit with your card to get it to lay flat. Ah, I did that wrong there. Okay, so let's just do this. Let's fold this back and put this right on here again. This is crazy because I'm seeing this from a whole different perspective here. Let's burnish this so we know it's attached really strongly. And then you can see how the box is formed there. And like I said, anytime you're doing one of these fun folds, you have to kind of play around with it and then kind of fold it back and forth so that it knows what to do. So it knows that you're the boss, so there. And you just create it so that it'll lay flat and that'll fit into your envelope and you just kind of play it back and forth. And then it just gives it so that the card, the paper has, knows which way it's supposed to go. So the last thing I had to do is open up and then I'm gonna push it that way. I wanted to put, the sentiment in here. So then I stuck dimensionals on the back of the rest and relax and put two dimensionals on there and take that off of there. I'm going to pop it. You don't want to close this because then you're going to be a little bit off. So kind of try to keep your box open and put your sentiment in there and then there's space over here is where I put my palm trees now it's going to be on this side of the palm tree some adhesive and then I'm going to pop out my just get a little bit of adhesive on the bottom of the palm trees and then you can see the silicone mat keeps the rest of that off of my actual card 
Just make sure you don't have any adhesive on the front of your palm trees because then it'll end up sticking. And so then I just put my palm trees adhered to the inside there and I can see I have a little bit of adhesive here and then make sure that I don't have any on the back there because we don't want it to stick. So then you just have that cute little palm trees. Now I want to show you how I got this palm tree to be two colored here. So what I did was I took my old olive and I just inked up the palm fronds there. Okay. So I inked them up in my old olive and then I just took my early espresso and I took the brush side and I took the early espresso directly onto my red rubber. You don't even have to take the earliest, uh, the old olive off. And then you just have your paper and then you just stamp and you've got your early espresso trunk and you've got your old olive fronds on there and that creates that two-tone there and it's really pretty and so you open that card and like it you could also put something here then you just close your card lay it flat and it goes into your envelope if you have any questions as I said the measurements and the products I used are on my blog post for this card just put in the search bar tropical oh no timeless tropical bundle and you'll find this card it's a fun fold called a shadow box it was really fun to make and I think I um I think I pulled out a lot of pretty things here with this timeless tropical suite with the paper and with the coastal weave embossing folder so if you have any questions you can email me at cindy lee b at gmail.com or you can shoot me a text or give me a call at 724-323-2296 remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and to my blog i like to post on wednesdays with a new card or some something to inspire you or something that inspired me so i would like to thank you for buzzing by friends